Welcome back developers. In the last video, we explored Laravel events and we saw how they signal that something important has happened in your Laravel application. Today, we are diving into the next piece of the puzzle that is listeners. This video is the further continuation of the previous video and if you are a beginner and haven't watched that video, it is highly recommended. Please watch that video first so that you will have a better understanding on Laravel events and why it is needed. Now today we will explore what listeners are, why they are essential and how they make your Laravel applications more maintainable and scalable. You will also learn how to implement listeners step by step and test them in action. So by the end of this video, you will master the art of clean decoupled logic with Laravel listeners. So if you are ready to upgrade your Laravel skills, just stick around and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more Laravel tutorials. So let's quickly jump on what are Laravel listeners. So listeners are just like a specialized workers. They respond to specific events and perform predefined tasks. So let's understand this using one example. When a user registers, you might want to send them a welcome email, log the registration and notify admins for newly created user. So each of these tasks are handled by a listener. So instead of cluttering your controllers or event classes, listeners keep each task separately and every task will be managed independently. The listeners keep each task in its own space. Now we will talk about why use Laravel listeners. So without listeners, all tasks would need to be handled in the event class or in the controller itself. And this makes the code messy and hard to maintain. And when you are using listeners, you can easily add or remove tasks without affecting the core logic of your application. And the best thing is reusability. You can reuse the same events for multiple listeners and each listeners will handle a unique task. Next we will understand the flow of event listeners. So here let's understand this event listener flow using this flow diagram. Here we have one registration form. So when you will submit the registration form, this will create one user and this will trigger one event as user registered. Okay. So as soon as your form is submitted, we will trigger one event. Let's suppose user registered and to perform the task Laravel provides listener against this event. So in this event, we can have multiple listeners. So here listener is just you can consider as a task which will be performed based on event. So here, according to our example, when the user is registered, we triggered one event. And if we want to perform multiple tasks, then we will have to create multiple listeners. So when the user registered event has triggered, firstly, this will send one welcome email to that newly created user. So this will be handled using one listener. Now next, if you want to notify the admin for that newly created user, then we will capture one more listener. And this listener will handle the functionality to notify the admin. Similarly, if we want to log activity of that newly created user, then we will capture one more task using one more listener. And this listener will be responsible for managing the log activity thing. Okay. So only you need to dispatch one event when a user has been registered. So after dispatching that event, these listeners will listen the task which are going to be performed. So in the first listener, this will send the welcome email to that newly created user. In the second listener, we want to notify the admin that, hey, we have a new user registered. And in the third listener, we will log the activity of that user. Similarly, you can create more listeners according to your need. So this is a basic flow of event listeners. Hope this is cleared for you. Now let's quickly navigate to the practical part. So I will come to the code editor. Here in the last video, we already created a registration form here. Okay. If we'll come to the browser, here we have that basic registration form with these input fields. We have a basic form validation added here. And on submit, this is triggering to the user controller because we have defined one function here. Inside this, we have server side validation added. Thereafter, we have just created that user record. And from here, we were sending the welcome email 
we were logging the activity and also we were notifying the admin for that newly created user. Thereafter, we created one event as user registered and we dispatched that event after creating this user record from here. Now if we will come to this user registered event available inside events. Here we captured the user parameter. This is basically user created data and this is coming from the controller itself. Here we have passed it from here. Okay. And we added this dump and die here. So we were able to get that user data here. Now we want to perform these all functionalities through the listeners. So firstly we will send email, then we will log the activity and also we will notify to admin. So respective to these all tasks, we will create different listeners so that each listener will be responsible to perform single task. So I will quickly come to the terminal and here I will create listener using php artisan make listener command and I will provide the listener name as send welcome email. Let's hit enter. Listener has been created. Similarly, let's create other listeners. Next, we will create log user register. And lastly, we will create one more listener as notify admin. Okay. So we have created three listeners here. Let's check out them one by one. So inside the app, we have one more directory as listeners. Here we have three listeners classes. Let's open this send welcome email. Inside this, we have one constructor and we have handle function. So inside the handle function, we will have to capture the event and this event will be user registered. Okay. Because we have created these listeners to capture that user registered event only. So similar to this user registered event, you can create more events and respectively you can capture that event using the listeners. All right. So in every classes, we have the same constructor and handle method. So firstly, let's start with the send welcome email inside this handle function. We will write the functionality to send welcome email to the newly created user. Okay. Now inside this handle function, we will have to inject that event. So Laravel provides one more flexibility while creating the listeners. We can pass the flag of that event class so that it will inject that automatically. But that is optional. We can inject it from this handle function manually. So here I will inject user registered event. Okay. This has imported automatically here. Now inside this, I will add dump and die dollar event because we have the instance of this user registered event here. Now I will come to the user registered event and I will remove this dump and die from here. Now I will come to the controller from controller. We already dispatched that event as user registered and we passed the user argument here and this user argument has been received here in the constructor. Now in order to capture the event in the listeners, we will have to register this event and listeners. So for registering the event and listeners, we will have to come to the service provider. So inside app, we have the providers and by default Laravel 11 provided this app service provider. So we will be registering here inside the boot method. If you want, you can create another service provider and you can register the event and listeners there. As of now, I'm going to add it inside app service provider itself. So under the boot method here, I will call the event facade event colon colon listen function inside the listen function. This will accept two parameters. The first parameter will be event name and in the second parameter, this will take that listener class name so that this will bind the event and listener together. So in the first parameter, we will have to call the user registered event colon colon class and furthermore in the second parameter we will pass the send welcome email colon colon class just like this okay so our send welcome email listener has been registered 
to listen the user registered event now let's come to the browser let's refresh the application and now let's try to register one more user so that we will see are we able to listen the triggered event so i will add test user user at the rate test.com password i will set and here phone number okay let's try to click on submit yes we can see we received that user data inside the send welcome email listener if we'll expand it here this is user model instance if we'll come to the code editor inside the send welcome email here we will have to capture that user data just like this so by getting this data we can trigger email to that user so i will come to the user controller and from here i will cut this line this was for sending welcome email to the newly created user so now i will move this functionality inside this listener we'll have to import this mail facade here and also this welcome mail class this is our mailable class okay and we will have to pass the recipient email as event user because previously we were fetching it from the user now this will be coming from the event user also in this name this will be event user name all right let's remove this dump and die and this response variable is not needed now that's it now let's come to the browser again let's refresh the application and let's try to register one more user let's click on submit okay that image was already taken let's fill up again let's try again this is sending the email in the background let's wait for a moment okay the event has been triggered and that was captured in the listener as well if we'll come to the mailbox here we received one welcome email if we'll open this yes this is fine we are getting that email here so similar to this listener we will implement the other functionalities in the rest of the listeners so let's come to the code editor let's copy this event class from here let's come to the log user register listener and instead of this object let's call that user registered event here now here i want to just dump the log so this will dump the log inside laravel.log file log info so better i can cut it from this user controller and here i will paste it let's uncomment this code and instead of this username this will be from event user name and we will have this email as well so let's change this to event user email and lastly we have the notify admin listener so we'll come to the user controller and let's cut this functionality and here inside the notify admin listener under the handle function let's paste this okay and here we will have to import the user model we will fetch all the user having admin access and also we will have to import the notification facade and this new user notification because we already created a notification class to trigger the notification to the admin user and this was dispatching using the queue okay so let's import it here and here we will have to change the event as user registered and let's change this parameter as dollar event user okay this is done now we will have to register these two listeners inside app service provider so let's duplicate these two times for the user registered event we will call that notify admin listener and we have log user register okay this is done 
now let's come to the controller now here we can see we have a cleaned code added inside the controller only we are dispatching the event as user register and once the user registered event dispatched the different functionalities will be listen automatically based on this event here i will return user registered successfully now let me clear the laravel log file so i'll come to the storage logs we have laravel dot log i will remove this log i will come to the browser i'll simply refresh it and i will try to register a new user i will provide a name as programming fields email as programming fields at the rate test.com i will provide the password and phone number okay now let's click on submit and let's wait for a moment so in the background the event has been dispatched as soon as i clicked on the submit button and based on that event we have three listeners the first listener will trigger the welcome email to this user in the second that will dump the log in the laravel log file and we have one more listener as notify admin that will notify to the admin user but that is working based on the queue so if we'll check out the mailbox first let's refresh this yes we can see we received one welcome email for the user now we have not received that admin notification at so we'll have to run the queue first i'll come to the terminal and here i will type php partition q listen let's hit enter and here q is running okay this is done let's check out the mail let's refresh yes we can see we received one more email here as new user notification and this is sent to admin only okay so this is how laravel event and listener works and if we'll come to the log file inside the laravel.log file we can see we have dumped one log here so this is all about laravel events and listeners and congratulations you have just unlocked the power of laravel listeners for writing these scalable and clean applications in this video we learned how listener respond to events and handling multiple tasks like sending emails logging and notifying users with the listeners you can decouple your logic and you can make your code base modular and easy to maintain so if you found this video helpful so you support by hitting the like button and if you get any questions or ideas for future topics simply drop them in the comments i would love to hear from you next we will dive into the event broadcasting so don't miss that and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay ahead in your laravel journey and don't forget to share this video with your fellow developers and let's grow together as a community so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then happy coding